In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the cost of equity capital by using the capital asset pricing model. So here's our capital asset pricing model formula. We've got the risk-free rate, so that's the rate of return you'd earn on an investment that has zero risk, like a three-month U.S. Treasury bill or something like that. Then you add to that the beta of the stock that we're going to be talking about, so stock I, and we take that beta, that's a measure of systematic risk of that stock. We're going to multiply it by the market risk premium, which is this here. We've got the expected rate of return for the market portfolio minus the risk-free rate. That's our market risk premium. We multiply that by the beta of the stock, and then we add that to the risk-free rate of return. That is going to give us the expected return of that stock which is also the cost of equity. So this, this right here, the expected return and the cost of equity, they're actually the same thing. This is the rate of return that an investor in that stock, so this I, let's say that it's Walmart. So there's an investor in Walmart and they're expecting to earn a certain return. They're expecting to earn a certain rate of return given the risk, the systematic risk of the stock of Walmart. Okay, so the cost of equity, from the perspective of the firm, this is equity. Okay, so this is equity that they, they have issued these shares and then people bought the shares and so forth. So they've got equity. And so you could think about it as the cost of equity for this firm. Okay, so the cost of equity. So I'm going to show you an example of how to actually calculate this out because that's all pretty abstract. Let's take a fictional company called Titania and we'll estimate the cost of equity capital for, for Titania using the cap M. Okay, so let's say that we've got our risk-free rate is 2%. The expected return for the market portfolio is 10%. And then we've got the beta of titania, titania, which is the measure of systematic risk of this company, of the stock, is 1.20. Okay, now we can just plug in our cap, uh, take the cap M and just plug in these numbers. So here's our capital asset pricing model. And now we go and we plug in, we're trying to solve for this right here, the expected rate of return, the cost of equity. So we don't know that, but we know everything on the right hand side. We know the risk free rate and we know the expected return for the market portfolio. So if, if you're actually trying to calculate this for a company and you're thinking, what do I use for the market portfolio? You could look at like the rate of return the, uh, for the S&P 500, something like that. You could use that as a measure for the market portfolio. So we've got our market portfolio, the return is 10%, but then we subtract to get the market risk premium, we have to subtract the risk-free rate from the expected rate of return for the market portfolio. Okay, so that gives us the actual risk market risk premium is 8%. This 8% is the expected rate of return for a portfolio that would have a beta of 1. So this is basically the expected, this is the, the rate of return for bearing market risk. Now we multiply that by the beta of Titania because Titania does not have a beta of 1. It just doesn't move exactly with the market. Okay, so it's actually more it has more risk because it has a higher beta than one. It's 1.2. So we multiply the 8% market premium times the beta of the stock, which is 1.2, and that gives us 9.6%. And then we add to that the risk-free rate. So that gives us 11.6%. And that is the expected rate of return uh, for Titania, if we're looking about Titania stock, which is the cost of equity capital. So the cost of equity, we can, and you, it's easier to think intuitively about the cost of debt. You can think about the interest rate paid by a company on its debt. But the cost of equity is a little less intuitive. So we use this capital asset pricing model and we say, look, there's 11.6% is the cost of equity for Titania. Now notice something. If we were to increase the beta, if we were to increase it, if we were to say take it from 1.2 to 1.3 or to 1.5 or something, let's say 1.8, we, we increase the beta. As we increase this number here, we are going to increase the cost of equity. Okay, so if you increase the beta, you increase the cost of equity. What does that mean? Think about it. As the systematic risk, as the risk of Titania increases, then the, the people who are investing in Titania, that hold shares of stock in Titania, they are going to demand a greater return given that they have higher risk. More risk means the investors are going to want a greater reward. 
Okay, and so as the risk goes up, as beta gets higher and higher, the cost of equity increases as well.